Hi guys! So happy 2019. I have not posted a video since 2019 began and this is my first video of the year so yeah! I, I am excited for 2019. I was also excited for 2018 as well. So just another year, another 20 20 what 2019 so i wish all of us the best this 2019 that we will all make it regardless of what we will make it because we are all fighters and yeah so in today's video i'm bringing to you guys a video that i think i got a couple of subscribers you know send me an email asking me how uh, you know some of them two of them said that they just got accepted into nursing and How did I prepare so I got those kind of questions like a little bit more than any other question that I've had so I decided to just come here and you know share with you guys how I got prepared for nursing school and So you guys can also pick one or two things from this so uh, let's get started into the video so guys if you guys see me looking down it's because i have everything written down here i did not want to leave any important information so i have everything written down so i can go you know by it so in this video i'm going to talk to you guys how to best succeed and prepare for the nursing school tips we will also cover tips to succeed in nursing schools and things that I, I wish I knew before I started nursing school and I will also give you guys some study tips of how you can best prepare for exams how you can prepare for a class and also uh, how to just succeed in nursing school as a nursing student so and yeah that's it so if you don't know i'm just gonna give a little introduction about myself because i've seen a couple of new subscribers in my channel so i'm a nursing student i'm doing my bachelor of science in nursing which means when i graduate i'm gonna be a psn nurse and i am in i am currently in my second semester of the nursing program uh total of five semester uh the school that i currently attend uh because it's a bsn we are given five semester uh we have four semester of intense class and then the last semester which is the fifth one is more of like the nclex review classes and preparation and all whatnot so technically it is four semester but because of the last semester which we used to prepare for NCLEX, it you know it sums it up to five semester yeah so that's a little bit about myself so let's get now into the video so the first preparation you can do for yourself before you start nursing school guys is you have to learn how to relax I never knew that before I started nursing school that I have to be relaxed but I think I kind of learned that when I started nursing school and I used to panic a lot if I take an exam or even before I take an exam I will be panicking even when I know I'm well prepared for an exam I still panic I mean generally everything about nursing school can scare you and it can really make you panic so if you can do yourself a favor, boys and girls, and learn how to relax, learn how to not panic in nursing school, then you'll be a good candidate for nursing school because it's going to make you stress. Nursing school will stress you out. Nursing school will make you panic. Nursing school will, will do all sorts of things to your poor soul. So if you can learn how to relax, you know, just be yourself. If you if an exam is put in front of you and you don't know it, still relax. Even if you know it, just learn your just learn your relaxation technique. Take a deep breath and 
just put it in your mind that everything is going to be okay. Because the moment you sit in front of that exam, the only thing that can save you is what you will learn. And if you will learn all those things but you still panic, I don't know how you will be able to retain those information and put them down on your exam. So guys, learn how to not uh, panic and learn to relax. That will take you for a very long time in nursing school. And the second preparation that I also learned before I got into nursing school is that you have to learn yourself and know yourself. Learn how best you study. Like that is really huge. Um, if you are a visual learner, some people are visual learners that they have to see, they have to write everything down before it can stick. If you are that kind of a person, I will encourage you to go ahead and, you know, I will encourage you to go ahead and practice that while you are in nursing school because you have to have the learning strategy that is good for you while you are in nursing school, okay? And nursing school, we are thrown at with a lot of materials to study, like so much, there's just so much for that little time and you have exams like maybe every other week we have exams every week we have quizzes you have pop quizzes like you just have a lot that if you don't have a studying strategy that is really gonna throw you up learn to understand a concept don't cram any concept guys if you learn to cram rather than understand it's really gonna throw you up because in nursing everything is kind of integrated Maybe what you learn in fundamentals is going to take you all through your nursing career. So don't think that it's not unlike we prerequisite. Like in prereq, if you take microbiology, you move on to another level. You see that there is no connection. But in nursing, it's not like that. Every subject has a connection to another. Even pathophysiology, med surge, mental health and all those classes they are all connected if you don't know your fundamentals you cannot succeed in medicine you cannot succeed in mental health you cannot succeed in any nursing courses so what happens if you cram every information your brain is gonna give up at some point and you will really be lacking so i'll encourage you to understand the concept and don't cram it so know you how best you start. The third strategy of preparing for nursing school is you have to make yourself a morning person. The second strategy of getting ready for nursing school is be a morning person and make it a habit. If you are not a morning person, uh, unlike me, I like I'm that kind of a person that I like to sleep late and I get up very late as well the next day uh, but when I started nursing school it was a struggle for me because most of my classes were in the morning most of my classes started eight o'clock and if you drive far from the school and you have to get up maybe five five thirty to get ready and you have to be in class at eight because most classes as soon as the class starts at eight you have to start an exam and clinicals, if you have to go for clinicals, clinicals always start at 6.30. So if you are not a morning person, you just cannot keep up with all these early morning classes. So I will encourage you to make, you know, be a morning person a habit while you are in nursing school. Even out of nursing school, when you finally graduate and you get a job, and most of your classes will be in the morning so you just have to learn how to be a morning person uh, that is also one thing that i learned as i you know went to my nursing school um so yeah learn how to be a morning person learn how to get off and making coffee your best friend will really help and also and also setting up that alarm to wake you up at the right time for the fifth i don't know if it's the fifth or the fourth strategy of you know getting ready for nursing school is you have to do some meal prep so before nursing school i was that kind of a person that i like to cook like i like to eat certain things at, a, at different days like i can just sit today and say hey 
maybe I don't want chicken today, maybe I want beef, and then I just hop in the kitchen and I'm here, I am making what I want. But in nursing school, it's really not like that. In nursing school, you have to make meal prep like for at least a week. If not, you you end up eating a lot of junk food because you don't have that time and you don't have the time to cook. So that will you know really push you into eating things that are not healthy. So if you can do meal prep for at least a week or for days, depending on your family size. For me, I have kids, so and I have to do my meal prep according to you know what we need for that week. So I would really encourage you to do a meal prep and you know get familiar with it. That will really save you time to study when the semester starts or when you have an exam rather than being in the kitchen and making meals. The fifth strategy of getting prepared for the nursing school is to be organized. Like, I don't know how much I can stress this, but you have to really be organized in nursing school. Because what happens is, uh, you like you are for example if you are taking four classes all those four classes have a lot of assignments they have exam every other week and they have quizzes every week so imagine three to four classes syllables and they all have content the same information how can you keep track of all what you have to do with the assignments do some assignments can be due Monday, some can be due Sundays, Fridays, and so on and so forth. So if you are not organized, if you have to keep flipping every uh, syllables to see what is due, my friend, I'm telling you, you miss a lot of assignments, you miss a lot of information and a lot of due date for things. So what I did, I bought myself a planner and I took my time and I wrote to, I went through all my syllables and I wrote all the due date for assignment, for what class, the quizzes, the exam, I wrote everything down. So that way it's kind of like in one place rather than in different locations because that is really gonna help you. Sorry guys, I keep looking there because it's snowing here so and it keep falling so I'm getting distracted on that side. Yeah, so yeah you really have you really need a planner um so that would really help you to be organized and not to miss any assignments and to sum up everything that i've said uh is nursing school challenging yes is there a lot of material to study yes but is it the most challenging thing ever no you just have to be organized don't let nursing school scare you uh, if you are organized if you prepare yourself well before you start nursing program guys i promise you not you and nursing school will be best friends what makes it challenging and what scares people is because we get in there without knowing how it is and without being prepared without being organized without studying how best we study and you know being panicking freaking out on every given opportunity you know getting up late and rushing for class so all that thing will put a stress on you and you know that that is what makes a lot of us nursing students not to succeed because we were mentally physically not prepared for it so if you sit down if you are someone going into nursing or if you are already a nursing student and you are struggling sit down and write down all these points that i told you and then go over everything practice them and you will see a huge difference that is gonna make towards you being in nursing school nursing school is my heart guys it's just how we organize ourselves so that is it for this video and I hope you guys found the video interesting and please if you do don't forget to like my video don't forget to subscribe and also share it if you know anybody that is going to nursing school and if you have any question uh, don't hesitate to always email me 
all my information are listed down below um and yeah so don't forget to subscribe guys and 